Hey, Andrew Picklers, Tony here. I want to talk to you today a little bit about spins. Uh, what I want to talk about are the different types of spins that, that can be imparted onto the ball and the effects of those spins. It's a little more advanced concepts in terms of the types of spins you can use on put away shots uh, and why some spins are better than other spins. So let's get into it. The underspin shot, so the cut shot, the one where you're basically going from high to low, is a very effective shot on the return of serve. The reason for that is because what happens is if you can slice that ball or cut that ball, uh, what happens is with the underspin, that ball will stay low. It'll basically stay really low and not, not come up. And what ends up happening is it's harder for the serving team to hit and execute a third shot off of a well-spun underspin ball. Again, these are advanced concepts. I'm not suggesting to you if you're just getting into the game that you should focus on these shots. But if you've already learned how to hit nice returns and you're pretty consistent with them and you want to learn something new, try cutting some of your returns and basically watch how your opponents have more difficulty handling the third shot from that type of shot. Let's take a look at a cut return here. So Tommy serves me the ball. I hit a cut return. I'll slow it down so you can see how low the ball stays. So it barely uh, comes off the ground on that shot. We're going to look at a neutral or flat return in a minute. You're going to notice the difference in the two shots. So here, Tommy uh, gives me the ball again and serves me the ball again. I hit a normal flat return here, and you can see the difference in the height of the ball. We'll compare them in a second, but just look at how different the ball is when it comes off the ground. Here, we're going to put both together. You're going to see the cut one on the left, the neutral or flat one on the right. Again, look at the difference in the two balls, how high the one ball goes on the right versus the one on the left. That's why the cut return is so effective. Here you'll see the cut return or the, or the slice or underspin return used in gameplay. You can see how low Scott has to get to handle this ball. It's more difficult because it's cut or sliced and stays low. Another way to use spins is up at the net. Uh, up at the net you can use two different types of spins. You can also use a slice or you can use or the underspin or you can use the topspin shot. I'll suggest to you that from the net the topspin shot is going to be more effective than the underspin shot from up here. If you hit a volley with underspin, what happens is the ball will spin like this. What happens there is by aerodynamics, basically the ball is going to stay up higher than it would if you hit a topspin. I'll show you that in a second. But if you imagine the ball spinning this way, it's basically going to flow like in this direction, like have a curve, like a smiley face, uh, which is not what you want with a volley. If I hit it like this, like if I hit a, a topspin shot with my backhand, what happens then is I spin the ball over it like this. The ball is going to travel in a sad arc, if you will, like this. And what will happen is it'll dip towards my opponent's feet, making it a much more difficult shot for them to dig and handle than if I slice that shot at them. I'll show you some slice volleys and some roll volleys. So that's a, a cut volley. So that's basically, now I'm cutting the ball. I'm cutting that ball. That's a cut, cut volley. Cut volley, right? So now let me show you what a roll volley looks like. That's a roll volley. And a roll volley. Those were cut volleys and roll volleys. And let's see how that looks when the ball's coming off the paddle. So here's a cut volley. You can see how that ball is traveling upward, like in an upward arc. It's kind of like a smiley face, if you will. So the ball leaves my paddle going upward. Right? So upward, right? Now let me show you what a, what a, what a roll volley looks like. See how the ball travels down towards Tommy's feet? So that's a roll volley. You can see how the ball travels downward. It's much more effective if you can roll it down into the feet as opposed to slicing it, leaving it up for a potential reset or a counterattack. Let's look at the two volleys here. The topspin on the left, the underspin or slice volley on the right. What I want you to notice is I want you to notice the difference in height on the ball as it comes down. So the topspin ball is going to be lower than the, than the cut or underspin volley. And then I also want you to look at how fast it gets onto Tommy. The topspin volley on the left gets to him sooner than the underspin or the cut volley that floats and is easier to handle. In the volleys, I would prefer either a flat shot, which is basically going to travel on a straight line, or a topspin shot, which is going to travel on a downward arc at my opponent's feet. Give it a try. see the difference in how the shot uh, affects. So now I'm going to show you some uh, slice volleys and some, now I'm going to show you some, now I'm going to show you some slice. I want to thank our friend Tommy for helping us uh, make this video possible today. So if you're ever out playing with Tommy, give him thanks.